Welcome and welcome back. I'm watching Kier's Lux Life, where I bring you all things fun and beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If that's something you're into, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I have a future upload. So today, your girl is in New York City visiting the Pauline store. This is actually the first time I'm able to visit this store. I did find out, I think it was a couple months ago, that they opened right after the new year instead of only having the one store in Paris. And your girl is hella excited to see everything in person. So this gorgeous piece is actually in the numero nuff and the mini size in the color blush. I think this is absolutely stunning. I did not expect to like this color as much as I do. They did have at the time blush and they also had a color called Dune, which was very similar to the blush, but it was just a touch lighter. So I was actually online, couldn't really tell the difference between the two of them, if you will. So I was glad I was able to kind of get in store and see them in person. Next to the Numero Nuff is the Numero Set in the mini size. Again, this is in the color black. It has beautiful hardware as well. And again, size-wise, they seem to be about comparable. Again, you can definitely get more in the Numero Nuff, but just the thing of it is, is that opening. That's what I'm checking out there, and I'm not sure how that opening will fare. This is the black here, and again, this is in the larger size, which again, aesthetically, it's, it's stunning, but it is a little heavy. It's definitely a little heavy, especially given that there's nothing in the bag yet. I think they call it a wheat in the mini. So here we have the Numero Un, and this is in the Nano size again. This is in the color Red Garnet. This color has been sold out for months, and I was completely shook that they even had it. I'm actually going to put it on here, you'll see. And today was actually pretty cool. It was cool, it was very windy, and it was actually forecasting for rain. So that's why I'm actually all bundled up there. But again, I didn't know how far it was going to be of a walk. I did have my dad kind of bring me to the area, but again, trying to like walk and navigate to know where everything would be in the store and in the area as well. So I said, let me bundle up. So in there, it did make it a little challenging to be able to put on some of the crossbodies and then kind of see the best fit on what those products would look like. But again, definitely glad I was able to check them out. Again, you'll see the two sizes here that I'm comparing. One is the Numero Nuff Mini. Again, this is in the camel color. And then you'll see the original size, which is the larger size that I'm holding here on the side with the phone. Again, the color is also very nice as well. Definitely a neutral for something year round, but it looks huge. And you'll see that there, especially how I would wear it on the crook of the arm. But just as a crossbody piece, it's just way too big. At least for my frame. So here you'll see the store layout again they have all the bags on one wall again of what they have available again in the center there are a couple areas of like super large tables and those tables where you can definitely you know kind of stuff the bag how you would like check it out um again and you'll see a little bit later as they bring out items that you decide to purchase or what you're interested in they will bring those out as well again they're all new in box fresh wrap and then you'll be able to select the items that you're looking forward to moving forward there She's actually discontinued, unfortunately, yeah. More of like those seasonal tones, like for this style, it comes in like an icy blue and like a, I've like the that wheat. blue. I saw yeah, it pop online blue. the other day and then it was gone. They're both discontinued. Oh my gosh. Thank you for telling me. So they did let me know the Numero Nuff in wheat is discontinued, which sucks. They do have the color in the Tonka, so I may try that on and see the color, see if that's something I'm interested in or can vibe with. But I actually do already own a crossbody in yellow, so I'm not sure that that will be a good fit for me. So I'm definitely liking these three. Again, debating the size here as well as the style and the color. The opening is probably my biggest 
gripe with it, if you will, because it does not give the option to be able to open the top. So definitely let me know, comment down below if you or if you have the new metal nuff in either of the sizes, and if you do find the opening to be a bit of a challenge. So this is the new metal weight. This is actually something that was not on my radar, but actually seeing it in person is actually very cute. So they do have two sizes. They have the small and the large. I think the large is just maybe a bit overpowering, but the small is actually very cute. It's not something that I would have looked at. And again, it almost gives me like Louis Vuitton cans, like type five, just something that's a bit more fussy, but something very cute. So I'm not sure what to make of it yet. But again, as they come out with more colors in this particular style I think that's something that I would definitely give a second look question the seam in the smaller size or do you have this okay the smaller size and then she don't have that and she don't So this is actually the new metal nuff in the micro size. This is actually what the SA was wearing when I came in and it looked absolutely flawless on her. With this one, you do have the option to open up the sides. You don't have that option on the other bags in the new metal nuff silhouette. So again, I think that's a great idea. It does fit your cards in there as well. So again, if that's something you're into, they are absolutely super cute. They do have a few different colors and I'll be sure to show you guys that a little later on. So I did want to check out the scene and this is actually the only size and color that they had. This is in the blush as well. But again, something about it was just a little off. It didn't really fit well on the shoulder. And I would definitely agree that it would be more or less like a top candle, top carry bag more so than a shoulder. It just didn't really fit well. And again, once on the shoulder, there just seemed to be a lot of space underneath. So it almost seemed like you really didn't know that the bag was there, or that you would kind of be missing it. So something to keep in mind, it does have a snap closure and the sides do kind of cinch in almost like a Neverfull, but it definitely has more structure and it is suede lined. So something to consider. So this is the Umi belt. Again, this is the thin version. They do have a thin and then a thicker version. The thing I don't like about the belt is it's a double wrap, so it doesn't give you an option to just do a single, which is what I was looking for in the color chalk. Again, that is the thicker version that you just saw there. They also have it with like a textured kind of leather, and they have a smooth leather as well, as well as a few SLGs that you'll see down here that are like belt bags, if you will. These are some of the nano or micro bags that I was talking about. They call them micros, and you'll see them here. Again, this is in the Oon silhouette. And again, they also have the new metal nuff that you saw earlier. As far as the belts go, for the single, the thicker size width, they do have, again, only two sizes. It should have been 115 cm as well as 130 cm, which was size two. So you'll see that later on again when we talk about size and fit. But again, just only having those two options there was kind of like, mm. um, I was looking for, again, a white and a black. Um, I was able to pick up, again, one of those items there for that piece, again, for the SLGs that I was looking at. So definitely make sure you subscribe and, again, see my unboxing that's coming up. So here you'll see this is actually the chalk, this is the belt in the 115 cm. And again, this one here, again, of course it's over the jacket, but I definitely have plenty of space to be able to bring it in. And again, the black is what I was looking for as well. The white I think is nice, great for summer, but I did want to add the black as well. Unfortunately, they did not have it in my size. And actually they were at completely sold out of black altogether, but they did have a couple other colors in the 130 cm size i wanted to see about kind of trying it on and doing the wrap i know on their website they actually advertise like a wrap if you will kind of motion with the belt and again some folks make that 
you know, work for them. But again, for the size kind of situation, again, it's definitely a look. Just for me, I don't know if that's my vibe. So that is what the seam in the smaller size looks like cinched in. Again, it is very cute. It definitely gives its own kind of aesthetic. I love that the, like the pleats at the bottom of it, if you will. You'll see there on the corners and how it comes in. Almost gives like an origami kind of flair. So it's cute. I just wish they had a better color selection variety and then definitely wanted to be able to see it in the larger size. So she did not have black in the belt, but she did have, again, this is in like the camel kind of color in the belt, as well as the Tonka in the color wheat. So this is actually the color that I was looking forward to seeing in the Numero Noff, but they did not have it. They are discontinued, so that particular piece is kind of unfortunate. But again, the color, I think, in and of itself, especially for summer, is absolutely stunning. And then here you'll see it is not lined there at the bottom, just kind of on the sides, and there is that kind of piece of leather at the bottom. So I'm not sure what to make of it as far as it comes to, like, color transfer and things inside the bag. So this is the smooth leather here in like the tri-tone kind of colorway, if you will. One of the most popular bags from Paul N. Something about it in that smooth leather, I think it's just going to be concerning with the scratching or what perhaps can come up with everyday wear. So I'm not sure that it's for me. But again, it is a very well put together piece and something I would definitely recommend if that's something you had your eye on. So this is the Numero Un. This is actually in the original size in the the black color. They call it black textured leather, if you will. And it is actually very heavy. <laughs> um, again, you'll see there it does have feet on it. And again, the bags, they did have like a pillow. You should have seen in like a couple of the other bags or pieces that I picked up. So there's usually like a pillow in there just to kind of help keep it shaped. 
Um, but outside of that, again, dust bags do not have contents, if you will, as far as like whatever you would carry from like a day to day perspective, if you will. So I was very surprised. I definitely did not expect it to be that heavy, but definitely not something I would want to wear every day. Again, these are the two sizes compared. It almost seems like they should have like a size in between. So you'll see the pillow there that I was talking about, but it... <sighs> I don't know something about it. It is definitely a drastic difference between the nano size again and the original size. Perhaps a medium will come soon. The straight leather. How much are these? They're all gonna be eighty. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Got me doubting myself. Oh, and you have a smooth and a green. Yeah, exactly. And then this one here. What is this? A mop crop? Yes. Hmm. But the only thing is, it's not as flexible. Like this material is easier to get in and out of. Well, I think it's it's gonna like eventually gonna stick out, loosen up. Yeah. With everything. Probably like when you get, if you don't want it, it's probably going to be tight, but essentially it's going to like it. Exactly. Right. But I'm like, is this going to loosen up too much when it's going to fall out? <laughs> no, no, no. Not like that.
is the numerical weight or the number eight in the large or the original size. So definitely, I think it's just a little too big for my frame. Definitely, if this is something that I would consider, I would probably get the smaller size, but definitely an interesting piece. So your girl is in Soho in Poland. The store is actually super, super, super cute. I did find a handful of things in the bags there. It's super, super cute. They actually had a crown here, so she is grabbing my items now. So I'm excited. There were a few colors that I was definitely hoping to find, but all in all, a good trip. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. And again, make sure you come back to see the goodies that I picked up from Soho today at Poland. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.